Welcome, everyone, uh, Religion Unplugged listeners. Uh, we're so happy today. I'm Joseph Holmes. I'm so happy today to be interviewing Yasmin al Bastavi. She is an actress who has been on shows such as Nashville and The Originals. But of course, uh, Christians will know her most uh, from her role in The Chosen as Rama, one of the followers of Jesus. And I'm so happy uh, to have you here today. Oh man, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you, Joseph. Nice to meet you as well. <laughs> um, so obviously this interview is going to get into some spoiler territory for the new season, uh, season four of The Chosen. But first, before we get into the spoiler territory, I want to ask you just how did you actually um, get involved in The Chosen in the first place? Like, how did you find out about it? What attracted you to the role? Uh, what was, uh, how did you get into this part? The way that I found out about it and got introduced to the role was uh, just through an audition. And they shoot in Texas. So I have a Texas agent. I'm from Dallas. And my Texas agent just sent me an audition. Um, was not even sure what the project was, had not heard of it. And it was actually for the role of um, Eden first. So okay. a lot of character who is obviously played so beautifully by lotta and um yeah i think a lot of us actually all read for different parts and then they just kind of puzzle pieced it together which was really it's you know it's cool to see it's always so fun to hear what other people read for first totally or also for different things not even like this one and done but they were just going through trying to figure it out um so yeah i read for eden first and then rayma came up uh and i just sent in a tape and again, they shoot in Dallas. And so they, the fact, like I got it, found out that I got it. I did not audition in person or anything. Um, and I just got excited that I was gonna get to go home for a little bit. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a job's gonna take me home to Dallas. This is so great. Um, and then I, obviously the writing was just so great. Whenever I did get the script, I thought it was beautiful. Um, and for me, I was only in that one episode in season one. So I didn't read everything or see everything. It was just, that was the only experience that I had just reading that script for that episode, episode five um, in season one. And I just thought it was awesome writing. And then I get to set and I just see how intricate everything is uh, and how how all the departments have come together to to, create this world and the the costumes were beautiful the wardrobe was beautiful the set design the art and everything um and then we also did a bunch of because we shoot outside a lot <laughs> so <laughs> so for that one it was you know the wedding for that episode um and it was i just remember it being night shoots and so we were all just kind of delusional and it was just such a big celebration it was a uh, it was just so much dancing and all of this. So that was to have that be my first experience or introduction into the chosen. I was like, this is going to be a blast, you guys. Uh, so that was that's that's how I got introduced to the chosen. And then obviously meeting everybody and that just enhanced the experience. But yeah. Awesome. So mm -hmm. um, what did you as the okay, it, it, because you know, you're creating this character, which is interesting because, you know, The Chosen obviously is a show that attempts to, you know, bring life to characters that are in the Bible. But of course, you're a character who wasn't, was sort of created from scratch for the show. Um, and so you have a certain degree of room what, uh, to kind of create this character yourself. What was it that you kind of saw in the role that you then decide, OK, what, what do I want to bring to this? I mean, besides the fact that she's just a woman who is doing this thing that is going against everything that she should probably be doing. Uh, that was number one. I absolutely loved that. And then she's just such a lighthearted person. I love, I, I love bringing that into the role, um, her positivity, how she sees, how she sees the world. Uh, Overall, my thing that I, I am that I hold really dear to Rayma is her relationship with her dad, which obviously enhance or it makes the experience so much more difficult, or the decision so much more difficult to 
to just up and leave her father. Um, and so that was the, the thing, you know, which goes back to the first point of doing things that probably you would not do or is unconventional. But the fact that she has has so much of that gusto within her that that's a decision that she makes. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it's a hard decision, but I love that that's the route that uh, that Rayma took, that mm -hmm. the writers yeah. gave her. That's awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, yeah, so now we are getting into spoiler territory for anybody who doesn't okay. want to. Did you watch <laughs> it? I did watch it, yes. Oh, I should have asked that. I should have looked at that. I had no idea. So you watched the first three already? Yes, I, I, I've watched the entire first season, fourth season, because I uh, because I, oh, I got screener as a... I, I, a film critic of privileges. Yes. What? Um, yes. Oh, yes. What do you think? What do you think overall? Like, what you, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, I can. So I'll say, I'll, I, I want to get, I want to get, I will say, I overall, I'm overall very much loved it, particularly the first few episodes. I thought the rest of the season was maybe uneven, obviously, because Rainbow's not in it. You know, what is it's, it's not as good when she's not in it. Um, yes, but, yes. <laughs> but no, I mean, for those spoiler territories, you know, you know, for people who, you know, have not seen it, you know, obviously the first three episodes, in the third episode, Rayma does die at the hands of, of, of Quintus. And I want to know, say, what, how when did you find out first of all that Rayma had an expiration date was that something you found out in the first fourth season and how is that presented to you and how were you did you uh uh wrestle through that with the writers of the and the the, the storyline oh um i found out in the second season actually is when dallas told me because it was already outlined planned out yeah um, mm -hmm. and they were so sweet too and who knows maybe they were just telling me this just to tell me this uh, but they were so sweet to say, gosh, you know, we tried to obviously once you get to know people and you love working with them. And that was one of those situations where we just all loved working with each other. Uh, and again, they could probably just be telling me this just because they want me to feel better. They're like, we tried really hard to see if we can if we could make it something else just because we obviously got to know each other and we love working with each other. Um, but yeah, it was it was in season two, so I can imagine that it was already in the works of even before that. All right. Yeah. Okay, that that makes total sense. And so, how were you playing Rayma through this process, like knowing that she was a character who was destined to die? Like, how did you want to then present Rayma to the audience uh, and, and her character arc? How did you see her character arc that you were building, knowing that was sort of the end point of it? I actually would forget about it <laughs> because I didn't want to think about it. So it wasn't something that, and you know, that's another thing. I mean, a character doesn't know. Yes, I, Yasmin, knew that there was a demise, but um, Rayma does not. And so it was just really just playing out how the day-to-day, -day, what's going on in the story, um, not really keeping that and like, uh, there wasn't anything where I had to, I mean, you know, I could imagine that like, for instance, Jonathan has a different kind of experience with this, but um, with, with me, yeah, I just have, I don't know that it's coming. Um, and I'm just playing it out the way that, that I would normally play it out. Of course, knowing that that's going to happen and just, it made me sad. <laughs> Fair, fair. Well, I, yes. I, I've, I've seen the reactions online, and uh, clearly you're not the only one who it made sad. And uh, uh -huh. for, uh, I'll sadly be missing your, your, the light and joy that you bring uh, to the show. But I guess this is a good segue. For anybody who has really enjoyed your work here, um, what other projects do you have uh, coming up, uh, potentially, that you uh, want people to get excited about if they enjoy seeing your work? Uh, right now I'm working on... NCIS Hawaii, so I'm doing that, um, and and yeah, so that's happening. That's starting the first episode February 12th on CBS, um, and that's oh, that's after the Super Bowl, yeah, on Monday. So yeah, that's my next project. Nice. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for uh, joining us today and uh, being able to, uh, and thank you for all the work you've done to make uh, the shows mm -hmm. such an enjoyable show to watch. Man, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Joseph. All right. Take care.